Hello everyone, I'm back and today we are building the Tartosa family winery and I'll be honest, when I started building this build, I, yeah, it was just going to be a house and just like, you know, a residential lot, cute country vibes, but when I started building it, um, you'll notice that the, well, there's this part kind of on the right of the build, which I put some the really lovely big barn doors that are like open and I don't know I just felt like it was something more you know like I don't know that that part of the build wasn't just part of a house you know I don't know so and I thought you know what let's use some of the nectar making items because I haven't used them yet and yeah I just thought it'd be quite a sweet idea that it's kind of got the family business like off the side I did at one point as well because I felt like if I was making that kind of business that it would probably be like near a vineyard as well so I did think about moving the whole lot like the whole build to a lot which was like one of the ones that is down kind of by the river almost I don't know it's like down we're up high we're on that lot that's kind of up high it's really lovely like you can see out over everything but the ones down low are kind of more countryside-y -y, and are a bit bigger. So I felt like you could you could fit a vineyard in there much easier. Whereas here, it's a little bit small. So yeah, I didn't really feel like I could fit one of those here. But then I thought, you know what? It kind of works that this that that's just not part of this business. Do you know what I mean? This is the, the part where they're literally making the nectar, not growing the grapes do you know what I mean so yeah so I just thought it'd be kind of sweet sweet little idea and it just adds a little bit of something to like the gameplay or the storytelling aspect of it so yeah I don't know I thought it was quite nice now like I said I do feel like it's a family business so in my mind this is the family home and the business off to the side but well, I, I, I couldn't decide if they still lived there. I felt like I couldn't decide how old this business was in terms of like the family, you know, passing it down to their children, their children. And is it still that family that live here? And are they the ones still running the business? Or is it perhaps the business is still there, but the house is actually now rented out and they live somewhere else? Because I do feel like it would be a cool kind of place to stay, like a different type of place that you could stay you know what I mean I don't know I feel it's quite trendy isn't it to like have different types of buildings be converted I mean this isn't converted like it was always residential but yeah just something that's like offers something different it's not just a house so I don't know I feel like it'd be quite a cool place to come on holiday so yeah I I kind of couldn't decide <laughs> like while I was building it if the family still live there or if they rent it out or maybe they do both maybe they live there for part of the year rent out the rest of the year I'm not sure but yeah so it's not like super personalized which I don't think it would be anyway it feels like quite I don't want to say grand because it's not like super super grand but it's just nice and yeah just not like I say it's just not super personalized there's not lots of clutter it's kept very tidy which I think kind of made me f feel like it could be a holiday rental as well because I always feel like they're less cluttered and less personalized but it could be either really good however you want to play with it you do you so yeah you'll see to this just to the right of the build the kind of part that just sticks out and makes a really nice courtyard area those big barn doors when I put those down I knew that it needed to be something else it couldn't just be part of the house still I mean it could but and so I kind of made it obviously it's kind of a split level courtyard which I think is really really nice just trying to get different levels in you know and so the house the main door to the house is the green door which is obviously up on the platform and then the sort of lowered area where the barn door is and then there's a white door that's the 
well, that's the way into the business, basically. Like, if you were someone coming to visit, that's where you'd go in rather than, obviously, through the house. Obviously, the family can go through the house because it's their house because there is a way through. But if you were coming to visit the business rather than the house, you'd go straight down there, if that makes sense. So I think it kind of works, having its own entrance. It feels separate, but also not completely separate, which, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cool, kind of cool. It'd be fun to play in it, actually. <laughs> making me like thinking of different I don't know storylines and things I haven't played I haven't played the sims obviously I've played the sims building but played the game like with the sims for such a long time that yeah I don't know I think this one would be kind of be kind of cute wouldn't it now you'll see that I obviously because the main entrance into the house is up on platform the house area is also that high if that makes sense so although it is a taller wall height I don't use the whole height if that makes sense for the house area which I really like I I, I know I know I've said it before I know I say it many times but building with taller wall heights for residential lots I don't know I find it a little bit annoying sometimes depending on the lot but I felt for this because it's, it seems like a very old building I feel like it would be really really old and kind of cottagey e. obviously we're in the world of Tartosa so it's all very Mediterranean and of course it's not like a cottage like you'd find in the UK but it still is kind of I felt like there was quite low ceilings like not low ceilings but it just feels kind of yeah low ceilings probably that is it is probably that because I I always envisage that in older buildings because they always built a little bit lower. Having said that, <laughs> that's not always the case because, of course, older buildings like Victorian houses and things have really tall ceilings compared to a house that would be built now, for example. But really old houses, like cottages, I'm going to say cottage. Can you call this a cottage? I don't know. I guess it's like a villa. I don't know. I'm not sure on the exact terminology <laughs> for an old house in and I, I always envisage this world as Italy I'll be honest like that's just the influences I get from the world I think it's just sort of Mediterranean inspired though but in my mind it's Italy so I don't know that I don't know the correct terminology for an old house in Italy but that's what this is I suppose and you'll see I I actually <laughs> I saw when I start building this so where the stairs go up from the ground floor up to the second floor, I totally f forgot that there is a third floor while I was <laughs> like making my floor plan. I forgot there was a third floor to this kind of square to the left. The kind of tower, I'm going to call it the tower. It's not really a big tower, but it's kind of a tower. I totally forgot there was a third floor. So I ran out of space for the stairs <laughs> and I pressed upper floor to look at the roof and oh there was another story so yeah quickly changed that around and there's quite a few stairs actually in this house I don't know why I there's a kind of main stairs because I call them the main stairs because they're two tar wide which I always feel like is quite grand in the sims when you make stairs that aren't one tar wide it's always a bit of a moment and yeah they're the sort of main stairs up kind of there isn't like a defined hallway in this house it's sort of open plan, but made less open plan with pillars, which I think is quite nice. A bit different. Um, but there is kind of like a hall area that that comes off of. And then I actually put another set of stairs coming off the kitchen, which goes up to the hallway as well, like up to the landing as well. It's just, I don't know, even though the stairs are not really that far apart, I just felt like it was another quicker way up. Because it's such a long building, I just felt like from one end... To the other end it'd just be nice to have another set of stairs I don't know and then of course there's a set of stairs outside as well which I always like doing as well in this world I don't know why I always feel like <laughs> the buildings look nicer with having steps outside so there's some steps outside which then just obviously go straight up to where the bedrooms are on the second floor so yeah, there's a lot of ways up it means you don't have to go like through the house you can just go straight upstairs I don't know if you want to come home quietly when it's late or something. I don't know. It just feels, or if you just want to go straight from your bedroom to 
outside rather than going all the way through the house. I don't know. It just felt like something to put there. It just felt right, you know? I don't know why, it just felt right. So this is what I mean about the kind of open plan, not open plan. I The doors come straight through into the kitchen and the living room is off to the left and there's like a toilet and a tiny kind of utility space. But I didn't want it to just be open plan and I didn't feel right, but I didn't really have the space to close off to make an actual hallway downstairs because the downstairs is not actually huge. I think it's more because of the shape of it. It's a little bit kind of what you can fit in because I felt like the upstairs are so big. There's just so many bedrooms. So, so yeah, I decided to just kind of map it or close it off. I mean, not really close it off, but close it off a little bit with the pillars, which I think is quite cool. And I do change them a little bit. And this, actually, this kitchen area changes a few times because I do make it bigger because it just, it just wasn't working to start with. And also these pillars, I sort of, the shape changes again, like just to give more space because what I really wanted in this kitchen was a nice big island. I felt like that's what it needed. This is where, I, this is the part of the house where it feels quite grand to me. Like it's a very luxurious kitchen because it's so big. And I also make a kind of where the oven is is like a moment so I kind of put it in where it looks like there would have been a fireplace now there's no chimney directly above this and there's no fireplace directly above that either so you know I think it's perhaps they've put it in to look like that but it's not really I don't know or they've removed the chimney from upstairs and the chimney from the roof but anyway I just thought it looked really cute in this kitchen to just make it feel very country e and yeah just like a bit 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 fancy you know i'm also using the kitchen from the for rent pack which i don't know why but i really like it i'm really enjoying using it even though i think it's because it's just a little bit unusual with the with the sort of wooden paneling in the in the doors i think that's really nice and i also really like the countertop i think it looks like I say, I think it looks a little bit luxurious, you know, looks a little bit expensive, I think. Yeah, it looks a little bit, a little bit expensive. And you'll see, I, this is where I start like really chopping and changing with this kitchen because I wanted this, I wanted it to have an entrance into the business area, but I didn't want, I don't know, just basically that area just got, kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller so I could fit this table in. I really really wanted this table I I just I think it's just like the perfect table to use in these big like homes in Tartosa I don't know it just fits really really well I just feel like that is the perfect table but obviously it's quite big and you can't get it any smaller so I I I changed the whole let I had changed a whole wall just to fit in a table I think it's important I do and it just means that the entrance bit into the like business bit is really small, which to be honest, it didn't need to be big. So kind of works, you know. But yeah, so you'll see what I mean. Like it's it's kind of like you're still in the kitchen when you're in the hall, like in the lounge. Like it's not closed off. And the then into the there's gonna be like a like I say, it's like a tiny utility space, it's just for like a washing machine and dryer. And then obviously the bathroom there's a downstairs bathroom that is walled off but it is kind of all open plan but it doesn't feel it I quite like it maybe there used to be walls and they like pulled them all down just to get a bit more of a open plan feel but still wanted that kind of closed off vibes and I think this is kind of a happy medium for that but yeah the lounge is quite small to be honest in comparison to the kitchen but it's also very much a it's a sitting room let's call it a sitting room because there is no tv I didn't feel like this room I just didn't feel like this room should have a tv I just felt like somewhere where it'd be really calm you could go and read you could just go and chat maybe have people around but yeah I didn't feel like it needed a tv I don't know I just I think maybe because I put that fireplace and I just I just knew it'd look weird either side of that fireplace it just wouldn't work but I do put in the what do they call it the oh my gosh I can't remember what it's called that <laughs> what is that called I can't remember but basically it, it you can play music in here that's nice right and 
oh my goodness, these, <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I really wanted to put some lights on the wall, um, in the lounge, because I felt like artwork wasn't really, I don't know, it was a bit much, so I wanted to be kind of simple, but I wanted something on the wall, so I wanted to put some lights on the wall, and I thought, oh, those ones from the Realm of Magic are quite a nice shape, and I think I put them in one of the bedrooms as well, and it wasn't until I was playtesting that I remembered that they are like, they're really special lights, aren't they, because they're like magic, so they glow <laughs> like a really funny colour, and there's like, I think it's like stuff coming off of it, basically it's not a normal light, and I was like, wow, that's not the vibe <laughs> for this house, it's not what we were going for for this house, so I do change those, just so you know, so like you'll see in the screenshots and things, or if you download it, the lights are different, because yeah, that didn't really work, did it? Now upstairs, like I said, it's a very long landing, that's why we've got two sets of stairs, and obviously the stairs going up to the next floor, so lots of stairs, but it's quite a lot of bedrooms, so I've put in four bedrooms, and obviously this is a very big main bathroom, and then there is a master bedroom, so the master bedroom has got its own ensuite and a kind of walk-in wardrobe moment as well, so it's really big, and you could easily, you know, swap out some of the rooms are quite big, so you could make more bedrooms if you wanted. You could make a bedroom an office. I did, I did toy with the idea of having one of the bedrooms as an office, but then I felt like they would, you, their office would be the business space, right? So I just felt like that didn't really make sense. So I just kind of made a range of bedrooms because, like I said, at this point I was still myself just couldn't decide if the build was going to be still lived in or like a residential lot um rented residential lots like a vacation lot so yeah some of the rooms like for example that there's like a double bedroom which has it's very like really not personalized at all but then I do make a children's bedroom which again it's not like crazy crazy personalized it's just it's quite I mean it's it's more obviously for a child but it could easily be like that if you wanted it to be rented out if you know what I mean like I feel like a big house like this you're probably going to expect children to be staying as well if you're renting it out so there might be space for that and like you know you'd accommodate for that do you know what I mean but yeah so the bedroom at the end here is the master bedroom just because well it's got an ensuite and a walk-in wardrobe that's quite nice isn't it really and it's quite sweet actually because there is a big long balcony all the way along the back of this house so all of the bedrooms along this side so only the one bedroom that's kind of in the tower bit, which is the smallest bedroom, so sorry guys. Um, Yeah, that's the only bedroom that doesn't have a entryway out onto this balcony, which I think is quite nice that they can all go out onto that balcony. I don't know, I just kind of imagine like in the morning you might go out there and be like, oh, like it's nice to be able to like, I don't know, for everyone to be able to do that. I just thought it was quite sweet. But yes, yeah, so there's just one bedroom that can't do that. So that's the bedroom that I was like, I felt like should be an office or should be something else just because it was a kind of away from this run of bedrooms but I just did it as a bedroom but like I said it could be an office or I don't know it could be anything really and you'll see I don't know if you can see I just I just keep seeing those lights I put on the wall I put them in the master bedroom I was like oh these are so nice these lights look at the shape of these lights no <laughs> I always forget that the Realm of Magic stuff, because they have some really nice items in these packs, like the more paranormal packs. I, some of the items I use a lot, but I forget that some of them actually are magic or, you know, fit to whatever pack it is. So they might not be quite how you expect them to be when you turn live mode on. <laughs> it's just, I, I'll remember that. I'm definitely not using them again, that's for sure. Unless I'm, I mean, unless I'm building something magic or something. But yeah, I also changed this space out here a few times, this balcony, because I, I didn't really know what to put out here to start with. I think because I felt like, because it was a, a shared balcony, it couldn't be really, I don't know, like I wouldn't make it something really specific because they were all going to use this space. And in the end, I felt like, It'd be nice to have a table out there, maybe if you want to have breakfast up there. 
And I put an, an easel as well because I thought that'd be kind of fun. Because I bet that's got good views and you could paint it, you know. Now, this top room up in the tower is kind of like a chill out space. Mainly because I felt that the living room downstairs or the sitting room is very formal and if there is kids staying here or if the family's living here and they have children then I just felt like there needed to be a space where it was just a bit more relaxed and there'd be a tv and they could play and it's all the way up the top of the tower so it doesn't matter if it's messy but again this is a room that could be so many different things it could be like a yoga studio it could be an office it could be a gym it could be like whatever you want it to be I just felt like they needed that space because the rest of the house was so neat <laughs> and tidy, you know? And then this is this is fun. I really, really like this space that I made out here. This, this is the nectar making area, which is really funny. I, I, I totally, I remembered that we had the nectar making stuff, but I forgot that actually we got it with the ranch pack. So all of the sort of items that kind of go with it have a slight, ranchy feel so for example like the bar and stuff which I really wanted to use because it's that rustic-y vibe but it is a little bit ranch style but anyway I think we make it work I think we make it work but yeah so I just wanted to make it it's quite small it's not a massive space like I say I feel like it's somewhere where people come and they can come and try the nectar and they can see it being made, they can have a go at doing it themselves, I just feel like it's one of those experience places, but also, like, yeah, like an experience place, but it is also a functioning, making the, the nectar, do you know what I mean, like, <laughs> that is also being made, you can just go there and buy it, do you get what I mean, so yeah, that's just kind of vibe, so it's kind of, fits with the rest of the vibe of the house, like, it's, it's quite, nice but rustic it's definitely like an old business been here a long time the bar's quite old but yeah I don't know I just think it's really sweet I think it's just a nice addition to this house rather than it just being a house it just it just adds something different you know which I wasn't expecting to do when I started building this but sometimes that's what happens on the sims you just go on a little tangent and sometimes that's what works best you know just just gotta go with it so yeah you see what I mean the bar especially it's it's the the bit behind the bar which I love that we have those in the sims because it just adds it just makes it look a bit more realistic but it is a little bit it's not exactly like some of the things on it it doesn't really work but the overall feel works because it's that rusticy old like I wanted it to feel like it's been there for a long time so that kind of works if you don't look too closely and with like just the other elements of the room kind of works do you know what I mean so yeah, it's really nice. And then it, you can come straight out and sit and just have a chill in the sunshine in an evening. It's going to be a really nice space, you know. Just imagining summer evenings now, you know. The evenings are getting so light now, it's crazy. So it's just, it's giving me those vibes watching this back. It really is. And then I just, I just finish up, guys, with the usual bit of training a little bit of landscaping and putting lots of those cracks and marks on the wall of the of the building because you know I'm obsessed with those and I'm so glad we got more in the for pack because and there's I think they call it do they call it mold I think they might call it mold I think it's technically supposed to be mold the ones we got with that pack the like wall it's in wall art but you know what I mean the kind of markings to make a building look in my mind old and just gives it more detail. We have so many now, it's it's really great. <laughs> you don't have to use the same ones. I remember I used to just use the ones from the vampire packs constantly. We just had the like cracks, you know, for a long time. And I just would use that on every building and it was just, and now it's just, we have so many. It's really, really great, you know, it really is. But yeah, so we are coming to the end. I will leave you with some screenshots and see you in the next one. Bye.